we need help and we don't know anywhere else to ask. Tonight, a family is still feeling the effects after a driver crashed their vehicle into their home over the weekend in Haywood County. Not only are they unsure about the future of their house, but for the time being, they don't have a home at all. News 13's Ed DiOrio spoke with them about their concerns, especially as those temperatures drop. I was woken up by being tossed across the living room. The car came through the house. It was another quiet night in a typically quiet part of Waynesville. That was until I woke up and still didn't know what was happening to her screaming. Friday night, a man in a vehicle damaged a gas station, then crashed it into this Waynesville home a third of a mile up the road. It happened on my birthday, March the 15th at 10:30, 11 o'clock at night. Stuart Gaddis is facing several charges, including DWI. Days after the incident, the Marino family is still feeling the effects. I was supposed to go to work Saturday. Couldn't go to work because I had no sleep. I still don't get no sleep. Neither one of us do. As a result of the wreckage, the family was told they're not allowed inside. After reaching out to multiple shelters, Richard and Rosemary, their two children and three dogs, don't have a place to go. Everything that everybody we reach out to just tells us good luck and we're sorry for your inconvenience. Richard added that his insurance company told him it will be a while before their home of 17 years will be inhabitable again. It's going to be months in process, so this ain't just about Tonight. a night in, or two in, in, in a hotel or something. We're going to be displaced for months. Going through this will make, make us stronger in the long run. Right now, no. I can care less about being strong. I'm just trying to survive. The family is hoping to have a GoFundMe page set up in the near future. If you'd like to reach out to the family, we'll have links to Richard and Rosemary Marino's profiles on Facebook on our website, WLOS.com. In Waynesville, Ed DiOrio, News 13.